Good evening. I am so honored to be hosting the first Indo-Caribbean Alliance Gala. The theme tonight is Peacock because this is the start of something big. This is the start of something great. This is something that's going to hopefully continue for years on end. In 2010, we launched a mentoring program in our community. We started this program because there was a need, but also, and perhaps just as important, people wanted an opportunity to give back. We spend our hours making sure that change is happening in our community, and this is something that we're very proud of. A lot of people out there, like Fadi and myself, want to be part of that change. All we ask is that you see the need and you step up to be a mentor and change the life of a student, and that's what we do at ICA. The future of ICA is a future of partnership. With your support today, we're going to be able to expand our organization. In order for us to progress as a community, we must make our young people or keep them focused on what life demands from them. I had a dream to make everything around me beautiful. This dream became a movement called SUSDQ or Sustainable Queens. Rumi wrote, let yourself be silently drawn by the strong pull of what you really love. I do what I do because I believe in walking the talk. I want my children to learn how blessed they are and how giving helps them grow. I want my community to have beautiful spaces like we had back in the Caribbean. I want to recreate that love of the land and an urban paradise right here in Queens. I want to build an urban version of the lush gardens with copious fruits hanging from the branches. I want to establish this treasure of our homelands right here in the heart of Little Guyana. My name is Mei Chen. And actually, I'm a resident of the Lower East Side of Manhattan near Chinatown. But it's been my privilege to be appointed by President Obama to serve as a commissioner to the White House Initiative on Asian American and Pacific Islanders. My job here tonight is to move into the area of political advocacy um, because the honoree that we're going to give, give an award to is an amazing political advocate for this community. John Albert was born in India and raised and lives in Queens. John is the found, a founding board member of Taking Our Seat, a local Queens-based organization working towards the political empowerment of the South Asian and Indo-Caribbean community. It's my honor then to present this award, Civic Leadership Award, to John Albert. So John, come up. <laughs> I know that I'm probably one of the last people standing between you and dinner, and so uh, I'm. Uh, and then you know you're in trouble when like this guy pulls out a speech. The award isn't for me; it's for the work of taking our seat, and, and so many other people that 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 join that join me. Taking our seat was formed three years ago. Uh, we're a nonprofit based in Queens, as you heard, and we work towards the political empowerment of the South Asian and the Indo-Caribbean community. Just like uh, ICA, we're an all-volunteer organization, so everything you see from our newsletters or our website, it's all done by, by volunteers and we're very proud of that. One of the reasons I brought my children here is because I want them to see the best of our community and I want them to learn that our community has a lot to offer and I couldn't think of a better place to bring them on a fr Friday night than to see the ICA, the folks, the work that's being done and to, to and meet its supporters. Thank you. 
The future of ICA, uh, we're going to double down on our efforts to make sure that young people in Richmond Hill and the surrounding neighborhoods really uh, is going to have a bright future. The ICA has been in existence for five years. And in those five years, the ICA has grown into a voice for our community. In those five years, the ICA has stood by people in our community on issues that they never knew before they could stand. We need you to make sure that you're behind us because we need allies in this fight and it's a fight. Not everybody wants to see us succeed, but we will. And ICA was founded coincidentally around 2007, 2008 when President Obama was elected and he was talking about, you know, Get involved in your community. What can you do that's going to change your community? And a lot of us sat around talking about, what is that? And when we looked around in Richmond Hill, there were no organizations, not one, that were providing actual programs. We have a lot of cultural programs, and they've really laid the foundation. But the future of ICA is one that will build programs for all of our families to attend and be a part of. And come this September, I promise you, you'll be blown away. We're going to take the right steps to get us there.